Hello viewers, thank you for joining us again. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to solve this exponential equation. And we want to figure out the values of x that will satisfy this given equation. Okay, take a look at this question. If you don't know how to solve this problem, I want you to stay with me because I'm going to walk you through this process one step at a time. And to our subscribers who knows how to solve this problem, thank you for joining us again. And let us go over to the question right now. Alright viewers, the first thing I want to do is to divide both sides by 16 to the power x. So if I divide here by 16 to the power x, I divide here by 16 to the power x and this guy will be the same. This guy and this guy will go over to 1, then I have... Now I want you to remember one law in exponents, it says if I have a to the power n upon b to the power n, what is common here is that these two guys have the same power, so I can write it as a upon b all to the power n this is true right so that is what we're going to happen right here so i'll have 20 upon 16 then all to the power uh, sorry x rather not n then equal to of course this guy is going to become 25 upon 16 all to the power x and of course something can divide here four can divide here so we have one plus before divide 20 you get a five 4 divided 16, you get a 4, all to the power x is equal to, now if you look at this guy, nothing can divide it on this part, so, but we can also write 25 as 5 to the power 2, and 16 as 4 to the power 2, so this guy becomes 5 squared upon uh, 4 squared, all to the power x. Alright, so let us proceed to the next step. Now the next thing I want to do, I want to work on this part of this equation. I can see apply that same law right here because you can see that these two guys have the same power too. So I can just take a single power for both of them. So I'll call this guy become, this guy's become 5 upon 4, all to the power x, then all to the power 2. Yes, there's a reason for this uh, because I, I, want, I really want to make this guy to look in form of a quadratic equation. So that's why I'm putting all this power outside, to the power 2 outside. So I have here 5 upon 4, all to the power x plus 1. Now you can see that I can easily make a substitution here. I can say let 5 upon 4, all to the power x, that all this quantity, let it be equal to y. Okay, so whenever I see this 5 to the power, 5 over, over 4, all to the power x, I'll replace it with y. So this guy becomes 1 plus all of these guys is now y, then equal to all these guys here now is now y, but remember all to the power 2. That is the reason why I made this guy to stay outside, okay? Yes. So at this point, we have a quadratic equation. So I'm going to arrange this quadratic equation in a standard form. So I'll take this guy over to this side and this guy over to this side. So I have 0 is equal to y squared minus y, then minus 1. We can also be written as equal to zero if I take away this guy from here, okay? Now we have a quadratic equation on the board to solve, and this quadratic equation is not factorizable, okay? And uh, because it's not factorizable, I'm going to solve this guy with the formula method. Now I'm going to compare this quadratic equation with the standard quadratic equation, which is ax squared, or let me use y, ay squared plus by plus c is equal to zero. So from here, you can see that the value of a here is just 1 because the coefficient of y squared is 1. So the value of b here is minus 1. So b is minus 1. And of course, c is minus 1. So c is equal to minus 1. So I'm going to plug this, all these uh, values of a, b, and c into the quadratic formula. So let me take off these guys from here. Okay, viewers, here we have the quadratic formula, which is y, 1, 2 is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all upon 2a. Okay, so we have y, 1, 2 is equal to minus, my b is minus 1, so I have minus minus 1, because there is a, there's already a minus sign here, so I have double minus, then plus or minus square root of b is minus 1 all squared minus 4 times a times c so my a is 1 and uh, c is also minus 1 all over 2 times 1 because a is 1 okay so we simplify this guy so we have y1 comma 2 
is equal to 1, minus minus 1 is 1, plus or minus square root of, minus 1 squared is positive 1, then uh, minus 4 times, uh, 4 times 1 times minus 1 will still give me plus 4, okay? Yes, all over 2. So we have this guy to become 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. Then y1 comma 2. Now the next thing you want to do, you can separate these guys. So now you have y1 is equal to 1 plus root 5 upon 2. Then or y2, so you take the negative sign now, is equal to 1 minus root 5. Sorry, 1 minus root 5 upon 2. So these are the values of y. But remember, we are going to uh, recall the statement we made earlier to get the real values of x. So let me take off these guys from here. Um, yep. Now, so um, I don't know recall. Recall that we made a statement that 5 over 4x is equal to y. So recall, recall that 5 over 4x is equal to y. And now we have two values of y. So we have. 5 over 4 all to the power x is equal to the first value of y which is 1 plus root 5 over 2 then or we have 5 over 4 all to the power x is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2 okay now let us analyze this solution you can see that whatever be the value of x in this case we can never have a negative value for for the for this expression of x okay so whatever x assumed to be its value you cannot have a negative result so we're going to ignore this solution and make use of this one okay and mind you this is the golden ratio this is also called the golden ratio yeah so the next thing you want to do is to get the value of x from here so you can just simply take the lean of both sides so we ignore this guy we ignore this guy and we work with this guy. So I'm going to take the natural logarithm of both sides. So I have natural logarithm of 5 over 4 all to the power x is equal to the lean of 1 plus root 5 over 2. Of course, this guy is going to fall behind. So we have x lean 5 over 4 is equal to lean 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now you divide both sides by this guy, lean 5 over 4. Then divide here 2 by lean 5 over 4. So this guy and this guy will cancel out. So your x is equal to this quantity. Okay, do us. This is kind of a long solution, but I believe at this point you understood how we got to this point. So if you find value, please consider subscribing and sharing this video to other learners. I want to see you in the next tutorial. God bless you and bye.